Hey there, Queen of Tax Deeds, Sandra Edmond, here to share another tip with you for Tip Tuesday. So this one is if you're doing any direct mail or snail mail, um, you're sending out letters or postcards to anybody and you get the letters that come back in the mail because the person has moved or it's a new address or they just, whatever it may be. For some reason, the mail just comes back to you and the post office will mark that it's coming back to you. Here's an example. This is a postcard that I sent out. And if you look down here, they have a little yellow label. A little yellow label on there that has the new address of the person I was mailing to. See that? So it says return to sender because on my mailings, where I have my address, you see right there it shows return service requested so I put that on all my mailings you even see it on this one right here too oh let's back it up so you can see well see that return service requested so that way they let us know if they the something's wrong with the address return it back to me um, so I can readdress it and send it back so on this particular one here, they didn't have an address they sent me. It's not deliverable. So I now have to skip trace and look it up. Skip trace is when you look up somebody, try to find their new current address. Uh, but on this particular one right here, they did include to me here an address. So you see I had mailed to um, Orlando and they actually gave me a Kissimmee address. Oh, light's too bright see if I can make that darker yeah so they actually mailed to me a Kissimmee address that I can mail to right there so what I'm gonna do now is um, you can be really cheap and just peel this off and uh, put a new label for Kissimmee and do a new stamp but this is pretty beat up from being in the mail it was all black and yellow here the yellow is all black I'm just gonna have to do a new one here but the ones that you cannot find, the, that they didn't send you an address at all, that's the money. Like this is like money sitting here. A lot of people do not skip trace to find out where the person is and mail to that address. So other people who may be mailing to the same list you are, are gonna get this back and not do anything with it. So it's important that you do stop and take the time to look up the person and figure out what their new address is. So I call that putting on our stalker ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend hat on. So you gotta pretend if I was a stalker, what kind of information would I use? What kind of information that I'm looking up and my, it's gonna be um, help me to find where this person is? So one of the tools, a really good bonus I'm giving you guys is a website called True People Search, which is really, really good, truepeoplesearch.com which is free and you can find a lot of people on that website and I also usually check first the property appraisers website to see if they have a different mailing address for the property appraiser or the tax collector then I usually also check um, one of the places I check is Department of Business Professional Regulations it's called myfloridalicense.com so if anybody's licensed for anything in Florida they usually have their license renewed and you have to have your most up-to-date address on that site. So I look on myfloridalicense.com and I also look and use um, SunBiz. SunBiz is where corporations have to file annual reports. So I check on SunBiz as well. And now I have a other couple of few other places too that I check as well, but those are really pretty good for free. So I don't have to pay for anything. Now, if I can't find it at all, then I do a paid skip trace. So um, then you just pay to have it skip trace to find the person, all right? So any of these old letters that you have just sitting there, don't throw them away. Even if you don't have time to do them right away, put them to the side and then work on them when you can. But make sure you put them back into your mailing list with a correct address so that maybe one day you will hear back from the person, okay? So that's it for Tip Tuesday. Happy investing.